All right, Michelle, thanks very much. News 8's Kevin Hoy is joining us with a look at what happened on this day in history. Well, on November 18th, 1883, American and Canadian railroads instituted standard continental, continental sorry, time zones to make it easier on the travelers and railroad workers. Hmm. Before the time zones were instituted, most towns had their own local times that related to the movement of the sun. As you can imagine, the thousands of different times were a scheduling nightmare, so the railroads created four continental time zones. Most Americans embraced the new time zones, but they weren't officially adopted by Congress until hmm. 1918. So I guess that'd be kind of confusing if someone's 130 was another person's 145. Right, right. Oh, it's running about 15 <laughs> minutes late. What does that mean? Right. right. On this day in 1903, a treaty was signed by the United States and Panama that set the construction of the Panama Canal into motion. The canal was important for world trade as it shortened the trip from San Francisco to New York by more than 8,000 miles. The treaty gave the U.S. exclusive rights to the canal, but another treaty signed 70 years later allowed for the transfer of the canal zone to Panama. Today, the waterway handles around 5% of world trade. 35 years ago, members of the People's Temple cult murdered California congressmen and four others in Jonestown, Guyana, as they in investigated the cult's settlement. After the killings, the cult's leader ordered members to take part in a mass suicide. 900 people died, including 270 children, after they drank Kool-Aid laced with cyanide. Mm. On this day 14 years ago, an annual tradition at Texas A&M University turned into a tragedy when a 60-foot tall stack of logs collapsed, killing 12 people and injuring 27 more. Students were building a massive bonfire ahead of the school's rivalry football matchup with the Texas Longhorns. The accident forced the school to discontinue the bonfire, which had been around for 90 years. An investigation into the collapse blamed flawed construction and unqualified student workers as factors in the accident. They actually do still have a bonfire, but it's off, off of campus, and okay. uh, they actually do bring in engineers to design it, so okay. it oh. actually works out. Also today, the push-button telephone turns 50, okay. replace the ro rotary dial. Uh, I had one when I, I, you're probably too young, but I, when I was younger, I had... The click. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Another thing, Mickey Mouse celebrates his 85th birthday today. Really? Steamboat Willie, the first, his first cartoon, mm -hmm. actually premiered on, on this day. He looks good. Yeah. That looks good. Uh, what are you working on for tomorrow? For 85, yeah, yeah, for 85. I'll be talking about the 150, 150th anniversary of one of the most famous speeches of all time and an interesting day in Grammy history. It has Grammy to do history. with uh, some lip syncing, maybe? Oh. Oh, okay. I think you know I it. I think I know it. <laughs> all right.